Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today I got a quick review on another DB Power product. I've reviewed a few of their products in the past, including a home Wi Fi security camera, and then a battery jump starter, and also the battery jump starter had an optional air compressor, sort of like this one here, but that one was a lot smaller. And even when I had my Honda Civic, it was pretty slow. It, it did work, so I still liked it, but this one's quite a bit bigger. It says max pressure 150 psi. Now this claims that it has a digital readout which is completely false. There's no digital screen on this product whatsoever so I think that's a little crazy that they have that on the box. But this one just plugs right into your 12 volt socket unlike the previous one I had that connects to the jump starter battery. It does come with some instructions diagram of all the parts. It does say it can run for about 10 minutes. So it's generally not a good idea to run these for too long because you'll burn the motor out. So you might not be able to pump up four flat tires but if you just need to top off your tires I think this would be something that ideal for you. It is really cheap by the way. DB Power did send this unit for review for an honest opinion on the product. Because I've reviewed a few of their products already, um, like I said though, it's really cheap. It's only like $26 or something like that on Amazon. So if you are interested, as usual, there'll be a link down below if you are interested in purchasing this. I find it funny that they have a Lamborghini in the artwork as if someone with a Lamborghini would have this little air compressor with him. It's also sort of funny that they ask for a good review and they claim they'll give you a free gift. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't intend on trying to get the supposed free gift. And there's a couple adapters. For example, the metal piece you can inflate a basketball with. So here is the unit. It's got a pretty decent design. It lets you hide the air pump hose and the power cord in these little pockets on the side. That way it stores a little bit easier. Now the hose isn't super long, but the electrical or the power cord is pretty long. From the power socket or the 12 volt socket in my truck, I was able to reach both the front and rear tires with this long cord. So since it's pretty easy to store and stores cleanly, you can put it somewhere in a storage compartment in your car, like for example under my back seat fits just fine. That way you'll have it always with you on the road. Now with my last DB power air compressor the dial on it was off. It was about 7 or 8 psi high. So I'm going to use another tire gauge to get the pressure. You can't see it but it was about 32 psi. Now these all-terrain tires, from what I've heard, some people say 32 is fine, but some people say you should get it up to about 37 or 38. So I'm going to try to pump this up. Now you can run this without your engine running if you have an always-on 12-volt socket, but I don't, so I had to turn my engine on. Now this one ended up being off too, so I was aiming for about 44 or 45 psi and then I checked with my other tire gauge and I got about 36. So again this one is about 8 psi high on the gauge. And here you can see my computer says it's about 37 psi. So overall, you know, there is the issue with the fact that the gauge isn't accurate. It was about 8 psi high, just like the last DB power air compressor I had. So that's sort of annoying, but as long as you know that or are aware of it and you know about how much you want, then it's not really an issue. For how cheap it is, I think it's a great value. Just something to inflate your tires if you're running a little low on the road, or maybe you deflate them a little bit when it's icy out. I initially was thinking maybe I could use this when I go off roading, because uh, then I lower the pressure quite a bit, but it's 10 minute runtime. I'm not really sure I'd be able to 
inflate all of my tires back up from about 20 to 24 psi back to 36 to 38 but for just normal driving normal tires I think this would be pretty good so check check the link down below again if you're interested in purchasing it so far with all the DB product or DB power products I've had I haven't had any issues with any of them and they are really really cheap so in that sense I would recommend it if you're already looking at it so as usual if you like this video or my other videos I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and of course drive safe thanks for watching and I'll see you next time